Hello, this is Brian Fisher. I'm a software IT specialist for IBM Tivoli Business Automation for the Southeast region. And today we will cover how to install and configure the IBM Tivoli Monitoring Infrastructure, or ITM for short, version 6.1, Fixed Pack 5, on Windows Server 2003 Standard Edition SP2. Before we begin the installation, we must verify that our host name is set up correctly. In order to do this, we will right click on my computer, select properties, go to the computer name tab, and under the full computer name attribute should bear a fully qualified name, itcamp4rt.demo.ibm.com. We need to verify that both the host name, which is just itcamp4rt, and the fully qualified name as seen resolves correctly. How we're going to do this is by opening up a command prompt and pinging both the host name and that resolves correctly and the fully qualified name. And that resolves correctly. So we are prepared to start the installation. Before we install the infrastructure, we must install some software prerequisites. And in our case, it's a database, which we will be using DB2. So we will locate our installation media, open up the DB2 folder, and start setup.exe. Click on install the product on the launch pad. We need to click next. The setup wizard is now ready to install. Click next. Accept the license agreement. Click next. We will we will select typical here, which is default, and click next. We will just say install on this computer. It asks us what drive, C directory is fine, what directory, defaults fine, we'll accept it, click next. And the DB2 username, we're going to use DB2 admin, and the password, and confirm the password, we'll click next. where we want the administration contact list to be located local do we want to enable SMTP notification no so click next so it's just verifying us that we won't be sent messages okay that's fine following instance will be created Here's the startup option for this instance. We're going to uh, have it start with the system startup. That's fine. So click next for that instance. And it's asking whether or not we want to prepare the DB2 tools catalog on this computer. We don't. So we'll accept the default. Click next. And it's asking us for a new contact info for this instance. We will just put in a name here of name of Tivoli and an email address of Tivoli at IBM.com and click next. This is just verifying our settings. Typical installation there's the target directory. Name of the instance is DB2. You can accept all the default ports. And here's the contact information. So click install. And the DB2 setup wizard is complete. So we will now click finish. No, we don't want to view the updates. 
exit first steps. So this concludes this video on how to install and configure the IBM Tivoli Monitoring Infrastructure Part 1, the database requirements. I would like to encourage you to watch Part 2 to continue this tutorial. Now I would like to thank you for your time and you may contact me anytime at bfisher at us.ibm.com. Thanks.